Hello everyone and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care channel. I'm Dwayne and I'm a certified level 2 RV inspector. Now today we're going to be talking about how to find the right kind of inspector for an RV that you're considering for purchase. You know, unless you're really familiar with RVs, and I mean have extensive knowledge in how they work and so on, then I highly recommend that you call in a pro to inspect that RV before you buy it. But I also recommend that the pro you call in be certified by the NRVIA. Why do I recommend that? Well, because I can say from experience myself that they have a great program for training and certifying inspectors to be able to perform a quality inspection for anyone who's considering purchasing an RV. Now the thing is that a lot of people don't understand that there are different levels of certification in the NRVIA. But there are. There's a level 1 certification and a level 2 certification. And let's talk about that. Let's talk about what they mean and the differences between them. And let's start with level 1. A level 1 inspector has been tested and certified that they have a depth of knowledge that's extensive about RVs, you know, about the systems, about the components, and so on. So it's good to know that they have that kind of knowledge. But they're not necessarily the ones that I would recommend for your first choice as an RV inspector for an RV you're considering for purchase. No, a level one certified inspector is really best for banks, mortgage companies, you know, lending institutions, that kind of thing, or maybe insurance companies to perform basic inspections that they will need to have performed uh, for their operation. But a level two certified inspector is a whole different thing. Now, here's the point. You can't become a level two <laughs> certified inspector un until you're already a level one inspector with NRVIA. Uh, so you've got to establish with them that you do have this extensive knowledge of RVs and how they work first. But then in this level two uh, training, it goes to a whole new level. They're going to train you how to actually perform quality inspections on almost any RV. They're going to train you how to go step by step through an RV and not only that, how to produce a really good report. A report that's understandable. It makes sense for the average RV buyer. So it's a whole different thing. You know, I know that there are lots of RV techs and people out there in the industry that have a lot of knowledge of RVs, but I often find that they're not able to convey that knowledge understandably to others in an easy way. That's why the NRVIA Level 2 Certified Inspector is so valuable because they're trained not only to know what they're looking for, but to be able to communicate it to the buyer in a way that's understandable. So again, I highly recommend using a Level 2 NRVIA Certified Inspector. In fact, I even recommend that you ask them before hiring them, are you level two certified? Just to be sure. Well, now the next question we want to talk about is how do I find these NRVIA certified inspectors? I get that question an awful lot. It's actually very simple. Just go to the website nrvia.org. You see it listed here. And once you're there on the home page, if you look up at the top of the page, there's a link for locate an inspector. Hit that uh, link and it'll open up a page where you'll see a map of the US and it will show you where all of the RV inspectors are located across uh, the US that they are currently tracking or able to track. And uh, then if you go down to the search box underneath, just put in the city and state where you are or even the zip code and uh, then choose a radius of how far away from that to search for an inspector. 
and uh, probably start with the smallest radius first and then it'll bring up a list of the inspectors that are close to you. Now what happens if uh, you can't find an inspector that's really close to you? We'll just keep widening the search area. Uh, and you may feel like, wow, I'm, I'm really widening this area a lot. I don't think anybody would want to travel that distance. Actually, the truth is many RV inspectors don't mind traveling a little bit. Uh, they may charge you for traveling costs, but it's usually not a, a lot. And the point is that you are able to still get them to come, even though they may be a few hundred miles away from you. Now, what happens though, if you find that you can't get any RV inspectors, no matter what you've tried on the site. Well, the next step is contact the NRVIA themselves at this point. What I recommend is uh, give the office a call. You can call them at this number here uh, that you see on the screen, and uh, you could do that, or you could email them too. There's also uh, an email address that you can use to contact them. Let them know that you've gone on the site, you've uh, used the search, uh, tools that are there and you cannot come up with an RV inspector to help you out in your area. Well, they will swing right into action and the office will uh, put out a notice to all RV inspectors in the country that someone needs an inspection in this area. And you know what? Very often they're able to actually find someone that can perform that inspection for you. The reason for that is because uh, we RV inspectors are very often on the move and that means that uh, you know we're RVers ourselves so we're we're traveling around and we don't necessarily change our location until we get to an area where we're actually staying for a while so it, there could be inspectors right in your area but uh, they just don't know about it yet on the map uh, in, or in the search tool so the office can find them and then connect the uh, two of you up so that you can get the inspection you need. So, you know, if you need to find an inspector, go through all of these steps, and in most cases, you should be able to find the inspector you're looking for. What if you can't find a level two inspector at all, but a level one inspector is available? Well, then you may want to consider them, but if there's a level two inspector available at all, they're the first choice. Now, the next question. Um, when should I bring in the RV inspector? That's a question I get asked an awful lot too. And the interesting answer is I don't recommend that you bring in an RV inspector uh, on every RV that you're considering for purchase. Uh, at least it's not the best thing to do. And why? Because if you're not really knowledgeable about RVs, uh, you can look at an RV and think, man, this thing looks great but there could be a lot of hidden issues in the RV. And then when the pro comes in, he finds those issues. They could be very expensive. It could be that the seller doesn't want to uh, fix those before the sale. You don't want to pay for that. And so then the whole deal just falls apart and you have to move on to the next RV and then call in the inspector again. And this could happen a few times before you find the, the RV that's really right for you. So how do, what is the best way to uh, find the RV that should be qualified for bringing in that pro inspector to perform the inspection? Well, a couple of weeks ago, I released an ebook and uh, it's called How to Avoid Buying an RV Money Pit. And in that ebook, I explain how that any RV buyer can perform a personal inspection on almost any RV. I show you what to look for, the major systems that you need to be uh, inspecting and looking at, the ones that are the most expensive, the ones that could kill a deal, you know, uh, if there's a lot of work that's needed. I show you how to inspect them and make sure that they're at least in reasonable working order. Uh, you, I provide you with a checklist so that you can go down the checklist and thoroughly inspect that RV. And uh, that way you can make sure that before you call in the pro, this RV is worthy of having a professional RV inspection performed on it. When you call in 
in the pro, they're going to come in with the right tools, the right knowledge and training to go through that RV from top to bottom. And they're going to give you a thorough, accurate picture of that RV at the time of the inspection. Now that's very important because then usually if this RV has passed your personal inspection and then the RV inspector comes in and does his inspection, usually what he finds is not going to be major at that point, not a deal killer. You know, it's still going to be valuable for you to know the information he's going to impart to you in the report but it shouldn't uh, be so serious that it's going to kill the deal and then you just have to move on to another search for RVs. Well, I hope what I've shared with you in this uh, video has been helpful and answered some questions for you. I know I get a lot of questions about this all the time, but what I've shown you is how you can find the right inspector, call them in at the right time on the right RV. Well, that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time.